Good day everybody, Ian here, and this is a different kind of guide that I'm going to bring you today. I don't normally make guides or make PVM related content, but um, I've been doing a bit of Snake Boss today uh, that just came out, and this is my first like look at it, and uh, to help you guys, if you, anyone needs a, a guide to help them do it, it's by no means complete, it's by no means like the most efficient way of doing things, but it works for me, I get one to two kills per inventory, uh, I make money doing it, so it should be fine, so if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, uh, leave some feedback in the comment section, and I hope you enjoy. So this is the typical setup that I'd be taking. Uh, I like to use full void. I've got a crystal shield because I don't have a um, what you call it yet, a DFS or anything like that, or Odin Ward. They'd be better, I think. DFS and Odin Ward are both better, but I see they buying one because they've just risen in price so much because of the boss. Same with Ranger boots. I'm using snakeskin boots because I'm being a poor noob. Um, also, I'm using a fire cape because it gives a prayer bonus. Um, you can use Avas if you want to, but you don't get any bolts back whilst ranging it. I also opted for Diamond Bolts E. Um, I thought about doing Ruby Bolts E. But um, because I'm only bringing sharks nowadays, I much prefer the diamond bolts here. I don't like to get hit as much. Um, so my inventory, like you can see, this isn't the typical inventory that you'd start with. You'd start with um, a different one, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is what you'd aim to be used. Um, these sharks, obviously, are much cheaper than using brews the whole time. I use free brews kind of like to panic brew in case I need to use them. Or if I'm getting close to, you know, not getting my second kill, I've always got the brews there. Don't typically use them, though. One range potion, I only use one or two doses. Uh, you have the recoils for the little snake minions that come, I'll explain that later. I also bring a Debo because, I don't know, I just like hitting the, the big hits on the on the boss, it's pretty cool to hit that, and just a bit of fun as well. Um, also, the Zulandra teleports you can buy from the trading posts, they're like 20 to 30k each. I definitely recommend buying them, otherwise getting there is a bit more difficult. Um, they're definitely worth the investment. Also, a Ring of Dueling with you, so every time after a kill you come back here, and you go to Clan Wars, step inside, walk back out again, and all your stats are reset. You've also got the bank here to regear in. So yeah, then um, I'll show you now the first setup that you'll need to use to get used to uh, doing this boss. And this is the inventory that I'd suggest you taking at first. Um, as you can see, I've got six restores, three range potions, and a hell of a lot of brews. The reason for that is the first time you do this boss, you probably won't be as um, capable as after I've done it like 20 something times now. Um, also, forgot to mention last inventory, you need an anti-venom plus. Basically, you're drinking this potion, the, poison, the snake poisons you, and um, if you've got a plus one, uh, you only have to use one dose per kill. You might have to use two if you're really slow, um, but this is probably the best thing to use, I'd say. Um, and yeah, same as last time, the recalls as well, same gear setup. Alternative gear setups you can use could include full carols with a carols crossbow and the bolt racks and the, the damned amulet. Um, that's a really good setup to use as well, I was using it earlier. I think it's actually a bit better than this setup. Um, also, you can change out the void if you haven't got it for something like armor deal, Verax helmet. Um, the shield can be changed as well. I'm using this this gear because it's what I've got. Um, but by all means, you can change the gear up if you like. I just like this or Carols with the damned amulet. Um, but it's completely up to you. Right. Okay, guys. So this audio isn't real time. Um, I'm recording the. I'm narrating this piece afterwards because it's pretty difficult to, to talk and to do this boss at the same time and explain all the things that are going on. When you first get to the boss, as you saw there, I spoke to the high priestess person over there. Uh, she tells you that this guy was going to be sacrificed and you offer to go in yourself. Also, if you die, you can get your stuff back. Just right click on that woman there and press collect. So when you first get into the boss, what you have to do is range pot up, get into this little corner over here, this uh, northeastern corner, and you start attacking the boss. Put on your Hawkeye, that's Eagle Eye, sorry, that's definitely worth using the whole way through. Um, this first guy basically just throws out a bunch of splooge, this little, I don't know, poison stuff. If you run into this poison stuff, you do get poisoned as well, so it's best to avoid it as much as you can. This form here is the melee form. The reason why I like this spot is because if it's facing one way, it will hit you, but as soon as it faces that way, it's not going to change direction, so you can kind of like dupe it into trying to hit you and then run away quickly afterwards. It takes a bit of practice, but yeah. This third one is the mage. Um, and it's the blue. As you see there, I was a bit late with the, the Mage Prey. It's worth putting it on just before it spawns. I was a bit late there. A bit silly of me. Um, after that, you get the range boss. And this guy is... Yeah, just take range the whole way through. He can either spawn here on the south side or on the western bank. Um, it's kind of random, so it's good to start running there before the mage dies. That's not what I did, though. That was uh, pretty silly of me. These little snakeling things, this is the reason why you've got the recoil. Basically, what these things do is... Um, they just hit you really high, but if you've got a recoil on, they'll just die in one hit because they've only got one HP. Uh, here's the melee one again. What I like to do for the melee one after the first, obviously after the first one, is go to this little corner, this northwestern corner. Same kind of concept as before. You can kind of dupe it into attacking you and then running away again. Um, whole way through, looking at your HP, making sure you're not getting hit. 
here we go on the Western Wall again, the Mage guy, uh, just having to protect Mage. This guy sometimes randomly uses range attacks too. There's no way of telling. It's not like Jad where you can kind of like, to my in knowledge anyway, that you can kind of like see what it's going to use. But um, you're just going to kind of tank the hits, which is why using DFS and that kind of thing could be quite useful. Um, as you can see here, the range boss is spewing out all this stuff. You want to not be standing in it, so if he spews it towards you, get to the other side as quick as you can, um, whilst also tanking the hits. A lot to be thinking about and doing at the same time. Pretty difficult, to be honest. Again, the mage one. I accidentally walked into the splooge stuff there, whatever it is, that poison. Not a good idea at all. Making sure, looking at your stats constantly, making sure that you're not like too brewed down. Um, quite hard to look at all the time, but that's something that you get the hang of uh, the more you do this, this boss. Um, after this mage guy, there will be should be a range on the right side or the melee. Um, it's kind of random, but here we go. We got the the range on the right hand side, the left hand side. Sorry, this guy is quite tricky. Basically, he switches between range and mage every single hit. So you've got to kind of look at your HP, make sure you're not getting too dead, and every single time you have to flick from range to mage. That seems like it's quite difficult for a lot of people. Um, this is probably where most people struggle. It just takes practice. Go get yourself um, kind of set up. Don't panic. And just practice it until he's like doesn't attack you anymore and he starts throwing out his little poison stuff and then it switches again after he switches it will be again a mage or a melee you're not sure which one they never both like spawn two mages or two melees at the same time uh, it's always a different form so you haven't got to worry about that again in this corner i like to use it because you can't get hit by the the poison when you're in that little corner and it's quite a good place to be after which, then another range, so just kind of protecting range after this. Um, as you can see, my supplies that I'm using, I'm using quite a lot. Not being the fastest kill that I've done, really, quite a slow one, but um, it's very RNG based. Um, and you've just got to, yeah, kind of just hope for some good hits. And with the brews, like I say, you should be able to get a kill with this many brews. Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. The loots aren't the best, but they're pretty good. So you, you might not cover the whole cost of the kill, but for the first few kills, it's definitely worth bringing in brews just so you can um, kind of get used to it and understand all the different forms and stuff. Again, melee again, kind of switching between the two spots so you can see there. And a mage is going to spawn, and I was very foolish here. I made a couple mistakes, ran across. Like I said before, I'm quite new to this boss as well, so this is just my method. It's not necessarily the best method. Um, be careful on the mages, though, specifically because they can, yeah, they can kind of own you. Uh, they can use range as well. I think earlier today I got comboed like three or four range hits in a row from a major, and I just died. <laughs> so you will die sometimes, um, which is why maybe Void is better, or Armadil is better than using Carols, because if you lose Carols, obviously you've got to pay for the repairs and stuff, which can get expensive if you die too many times. Again, going to the south side for the major. Um, kind of pretty self-explanatory here. Kind of just brewing up the whole way through. Um, my RNG has been really, really bad at this point. Um, I shouldn't really be using this many brews at this point, but oh well. There's the kill. Took me, what, four minutes and something. Not great. The kill should really be between, like, what, three to five minutes or something like that. But it was a nice loot. Five Torstal Seeds. They're worth quite a lot each, so that would cover the cost of your stuff. After this, you can then um, leave the, sh the shrine altogether if you want to go for another kill, if you've got enough supplies left, and you just walk back in again. If you haven't got enough supplies left, then with your door ring, you just teleport to um, Clan Wars, and you run over to the portal, uh, regain your health, and then basically just go back to the bank again. So like I said before, I think it's a good idea to use this setup, um, as in inventory setup, maybe not the same gear if you haven't got the same gear, but the inventory setup, just to get used to the boss. Um, again, I'm not the best at this boss, I know I'm not. Uh, it's very new to me, I've only been doing it for like a couple of hours now, but I thought I'd make this guide for you guys to kind of like get an idea and maybe have it go yourself if you're not really that sure what you're doing. Okay, so after seeing that, once you've practiced that with that inventory for a little bit, you should be able to be um, quite familiar with the boss, and then you can start doing a different inventory setup. I'm going to show you Carol's crossbow now. Um, this setup, basically just full Carol's with bolt racks and the Amulet of the Damned full. The Amulet of the Damned, what it does is when you have a Carol's crossbow special attack, it hits two bolts instead of one, so that's why it's worth having this. Keeping in mind, if you die, you lose it, and it's worth like 500k, so yeah. Inventory, I normally take two range potions. I'll only use one sometimes, but if I'm chowing into the bruise at the end of the fight it's useful to have another one um, there's, there's Zulandra teleports as well as always make sure you've got one in your bank just in case you do die you need to get back there again uh, the anti-venom as last time as well also I'm bringing a Debo I can't um, really spec very high with it but it's worth bringing anyway just for a bit of fun two recalls as last time and the majority of the food is going to be sharks so yeah let's go Alright, so I messed up uh, recording this, but I couldn't be able to record it again. So um, you also need free prayer potions, I'd recommend. I brought just a super restore, which was really silly of me. Um, luckily, I don't really use much prayer in this place, and I didn't use many brews. So um, I didn't have to use the free prayer potions, but 
you need three prayer potions as well, maybe two. Um, that was really me not to not to recommend that. Anyway, same start as last time. Just going over here. Um, the whole method is exactly the same as it was the first time. The only difference is you'll be eating at times where it's best to eat. So when the guy goes down to change forms, that's a good time to eat. Another good time to eat would be kind of when you're getting like comboed out, running through the poison, because you're not going to be hitting when you're running through the poison. Um, but yeah, same kind of method as it was last time. As you can see at this kill, um, basically when I was going through here, it didn't spawn in the same place it did last time. It spawned on the western wall. Um, it does tend to do that. It spawns in the south or the western one sometimes. And the reason why you start running before the mage goes down, like when it's just come, come up, is because those poison things can catch you as you're running. So if you start running early, then you won't get caught by them. Again, the snakeling, snakelings come as always. Just got to kind of just hope that your recoil kind of gets rid of them pretty quickly. Always make sure you've got the two recoils on you. Um, you might forget and only bring one, and then your recoil might be low, and you just can't really do it as efficiently if you've only got one recoil, if you've got no recoil, because loads of them spawn and they just literally just destroy you. So um, yeah, I tend to walk into the middle when these are uh, these poison things happen because I found out that um, he doesn't tend to actually hit me with the poison if I'm standing there. Uh, sometimes it does. It's really weird. I'm really not sure how that mechanic works. Um, but maybe try it for yourself. Try standing in the middle when the, the poison's about to hit you, like when they're about to spew it out, or try like running from side to side like I was doing earlier. Over here, we've got the, the range one again, just walking from side to side. As you can see, my shark's getting used up quite quickly. Um, obviously, a four-dose brew heals a lot more than a shark does, so you have significantly less food. Um, but I mean, if you get some good RNG, again, it comes down to RNG, like you get really unlucky, and like this guy here, you see ranging me twice in a row, but luckily I didn't absor I absorb both hits and I didn't hit anything. Uh, the debo again, always using the debo. It can only hit a minimum of 8-8, eight, eight, so it's like always a guaranteed hit. That's why I like using it. Um, but yeah, as you see here, just kind of tanking away, just killing the boss. Um, not really much else to really commentate right now. But um, I do like using carols. It's quite fast as well. And here we go with the, the switching now again. Something that's quite difficult. Um, that's look at your HP because you can get combined out by the snakes as well. The, the snakes can hit you like 15s rapidly a couple of them at a time. So as you can see in a second here, I'm going to try and go for the E. And I think um, I might miss actually a press switch here. I did miss a press switch there. That mage one could have killed me if I wasn't careful, if he hit like a 40 something. So you've got to be a bit careful. Um, kind of keep your HP up to a, a reasonable level. Um, kind of getting low on supplies here. I have had some bad luck and just um, been running through the poison a bit too many times. But I don't know. I should be able to get the kill. I think I do get the kill in the end. And. Yeah, there's not, not much to it. I definitely recommend using the sharks over the brews. Obviously, it's so much cheaper. You can only really get one kill. Maybe t You can get two if you get a good run, or if you've got some better gear than me, maybe. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely worth using the sharks. Save a lot of money, and I'm just repeating myself now. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video when this ends, this clip, clip ends. Um, I think I've included every book thing. As for the drops and how much money you can make from this thing, um, if you use sharks, you can profit every single kill. If you don't use sharks, then it might be a bit more difficult. Uh, notable drops, there's the the blowpipe thing, uh, it's a new weapon, it's a range weapon. I think it's selling for like 20 mil at the moment. Saying that though, it's probably going to crash even more. Um, but it is a fun boss to do, if you get the hang of it, um, it's not like it's just boring, you're not, it's not really repetitive, you've always got to be paying attention. Um, obviously there's a method to doing it, once you've nailed that method it's a lot easier. But it's not the same thing over and over again, and it's new content, so it's definitely worth giving a shot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave some comments in the in the comment section, some feedback. Um, like I said before, I don't really make videos like this very often, PVM videos or anything like that. But it's a new boss, and I thought it was quite appealing, so I thought I'd make the video anyway. Uh, there we go, 349 kill, not too bad at all. Got some really nice loot as well, magic seed and stuff. So yeah, peace guys. I'll speak to you again soon.